Hello, my name is Claire, and you've stumbled upon porch coffee, so please stick around. Hi, friends, my name is Claire, and this is my channel, Word Chat Theory. Here, I make content about what it is like to live as an adult on the autism spectrum and whatever else feels good to me. So if that sounds good to you, or if you're feeling particularly gracious today, and I hope that you are, please go ahead and click the subscribe button, ring the bell. I almost forgot to mention that I put out videos three times a week. Also, if you could hit the like button it tells the algorithm to share my videos out and that really helps me a lot so thank you so much if you could do that that would be awesome as per usual i've come to look forward to our coffees together on sunday <laughs> after i roll out of bed obviously it has uh it's been a week it's been a week so how's everyone doing? Did everyone have a great week? Uh, California has been so beautiful this week. Very interesting weather. We've had like some really hot days and then some spring-like days. So we're in that in-between season of the year. But uh, seems like there has been a turn in people's attitudes. I feel like when I see people there, they don't feel as weighed down or heavy. But that could be because we don't have the mask mandate anymore. And um, I'm not used to seeing people's faces. So I admit that that could be the reason for that. Uh, yesterday, I went out for lunch with some dear friends, my husband and I. We had to spend some time with them and we had a great time. And uh, we went for a walk afterwards. It was really fun. Uh, but after we got home, <laughs> we had eaten all that food and then walked around in the sun. Sorry about my old makeup. I didn't have a chance to, you know me. Uh, after we had walked around in the sun and eaten all that food, we came home and just like fell asleep at four o'clock. <sighs> Which is really funny because then I was back in bed by 10. Cause I'm a tired old lady. If you want to know how boring you are, you should try doing porch coffee once a week. Because that's when it really comes out. That's when you really become self-aware. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I've had a busy week. We're pet sitting for a friend. Friends. So that's like a big dynamic shift in the house, but it's going okay. I feel like the week has flown by. It's Sunday, and we're mid-April. It's taxes week, gotta figure that out. Of course, I've just been thinking about it for a few months and not doing it, because I'm like, you know, terrified? I don't know. 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 I do have to say I constantly impress myself with, oh, is this the worst per perch burp 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 burp? And then a burp. Great. Is this the worst porch coffee I've done? And then I top myself every time. <laughs> I am feeling a little bit better from last week. I'm feeling a little less lost. So thank you for allowing me to... <sighs> wow, okay. Thank you for allowing me to get my thoughts out and just get them organized. I really appreciate y'all for that. And um, sometimes it can be difficult for me to talk to a person. Not that I don't like people. Sometimes I forget that they're available. Is that it? It's probably it. It's like I don't think to talk to people about my issues or how I'm feeling and I also struggle to communicate the full anime
Nah. <laughs> I can't believe that it's halfway through, well, not halfway, but almost halfway through April because I always feel like it's porch coffee day. I know that they say, like, when you're younger and you have been alive for less time, time goes by so slow. But when you're older, it's just like at a clip. It's so crazy. Time goes by so fast. That's kind of, it could be overwhelming for a person with autism. I like slow. Here's something that happened this week. I um, found a turtle, not a turtle, sorry. Let me be more specific. Tortoises are turtles, but. So I found a tortoise a few hours away that's looking for a new home. I don't know if I've ever divulged this to you, but my, one of my like life internal deep down core dreams is to own a tortoise. When I was in college, my mom from somewhere got me this little teeny turtle as a pet. And um, I was keeping him as a pet in my dorm room. And then the uh, RA found out and was like, you can't have pets. I'm like, it's fish. I know it's not fish. And they're like, no. And I'm like, it's the size of like, it's two inches big. What do you think that it's going to do? And they're like, well, it could crawl out and die somewhere. No. Anyway, so I gave the turtle to another friend in college, uh, far further away, different college. So I hope that worked out for him, but <laughs> I loved that turtle. I'm just a turtle freak, okay? Um, that meme with the kid who's like, I love turtles. That's me. Uh, but what I love more than just a turtle is a tortoise because, let's face it, I, I have sensory issues around the idea of like keeping something that's not a fish in water all the time. My issue is like the smell of it. it smells like a pond. I don't want to smell that all the time. Anyway, so I've been like joining, not been, but like for the past few years, I've been following some tortoise groups few years, year, months. Anyway, it's been my lifelong dream to have a tortoise and I've been following these tortoise groups online, uh, local tortoise groups waiting for the right moment. Cause it's not just about buying a tortoise, right? I don't really want a baby tortoise. I'd love to adopt an older tortoise or even a teenage tortoise <laughs> because I know that some of them need good homes and, you know, it makes it a little bit easier when they're not a baby. So I found this guy trying to get rid of his tortoise, two years old, four pound tortoise, going to get up to nine pounds. Looks like it has a little bit of pyramiding health issues. So maybe not being taken care of 100% in the best way, needs some help. But I'm kind of thinking that I've decided that hey, maybe it's not the right time to get a tortoise. Even though my heart is saying, do it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I almost impulsively said yes to a tortoise. And I stopped myself and said that I would think about it and get back to them. You know, sometimes... You just want to jump for something, even if it's not the best idea at the moment. I can't help it. It's their cute faces for me. They're like the perfect turtle because they don't need a pond. They need water. Okay. They need water time, time in the water. But they don't, they're not aquatic. Like they don't live in a pond. And that's my issue with a turtle. Like I just don't want that responsibility so what I do want is the responsibility to like live with an old man tortoise for the rest of my life and feed him vegetables and watch his cute little face go 
It's so good. It brings me joy. Mother suggested maybe I could uh, let the tortoise move in with the rabbit. Supposedly it's not good for a tortoise to live with rabbits because the tortoise could eat the rabbit food and that might not be the best for it. Um, so we have to come up with a different living situation. Yeah. I think I just talked for six minutes about my dream of having a tortoise. It's going to happen one day. My dream is like Adam's family style. Like you walk into my old Victorian house and then like out of the study, a tortoise walks out. That would be my dream. My dream. <laughs> I'm just a peculiar girl. I want to have peculiar things around me. That's a good motto. I wish I had more planned for this week, but my plans for this week are to survive. Also, I'm really happy with the content I put out last week. I feel like um, it was good content. Oh, that's something I should mention. Porch coffee, guys. Porch coffee. Last week, I think I hit 10k views for the month for the first time. Perhaps. Maybe with like some of my like more popular shorts it happened before, but I'm just so excited to see the channels growing. And uh, I know my channel is a little different than other autism channels. I know that other autism channels, they just do the autism videos and um, I don't do that. And I know that perhaps, hey bluebird, sweet bluebird, the bluebirds are back. I know that perhaps that's like stunting my growth, but I love what I'm doing. I feel passionate about it. And I think if I only do the autism videos, it'll really start feeling like a job, maybe? No? What am I trying to say? My channel is a creative, emotional outlet for me. And that's good. So I'm going to keep doing that. And if you like it, you can follow it. And if you don't, you know, have a nice day. Hope you have a good life. You don't have to. It's not like you gotta follow. Oh, if you're still watching, I should mention that today is my mother Kathy's birthday. I know that uh, a lot of you love my mother Kathy. You've met her in several of my videos now. So if you want to shout out happy birthday Kathy in the comments, I think she really appreciate that. She uh, loves you too, that's for sure. She's always... Uh, invested in my channel so happy birthday kathy guys i guess that's it for the day i'm sorry that you know here's my obligatory sorry boring video again but you know you come here to drink coffee with an autistic woman on sunday mornings so <laughs> what did you expect <laughs> I think I should definitely log on and watch an autistic woman drink coffee on Sunday morning. Riveting. <laughs> okay, have a good day. I hope to see you a few more extra times this week, and I hope that you have a good day. Bye. <laughs>